They always say that you should make memories when you're on vacation. This is memorable. I think we have a good memory. <laughs> this is better than sliding backwards down a mountain pulling a trailer. Let's let's go fly some more drones. Okay, let's do it. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we're going on vacation, sort I, of. I can't believe it's actually happening. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sort of going on vacation. We're going on a vacation in our own backyard. A staycation. A staycation. Because we have some good friends that are flying into town and we are really excited about it. So I am going to work right now. I've got to get as much work as possible because it's Wednesday and I've got to get all of the work I would normally do on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's a good thing you're working. It is a good thing I'm working. Because I need to go shopping. Where are you going trip. shopping? Why are you standing up? Well, I'm going to be sitting for a while in my in my car ride, so I figure I'd stand up now. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to get all our work done. And this is going to be a different vlog than we usually have. It's not yeah. really a full day of eating. This is, we're going to randomly vlog... The trip. The entire trip. And again, the trip is... We're hanging out with our friends. So I don't know what we're gonna get. Hopefully we will be able to get some video of what we eat. Right, we're gonna we're planning on going out to eat a lot. I'm planning on not cooking. You're not cooking? I'm not cooking at all. I don't, I don't plan on cooking. This is unprecedented. Yeah, so we're gonna be going out to eat, so we'll kinda show you guys what we're eating, uh, some of the antics we get along. So this could be a five minute vlog. It could be a 30 minute vlog. It depends on how much we remember to turn on the camera. Well, let's just do it. So it's only 1240 and it's already 92 degrees. It is so hot outside. I don't know if you can see like the sweat is just like pouring off of me along with like all the grass that's stuck to me. But worse than the heat is the humidity. The humidity is ridiculously hot. But Anthony and I are trying to get like all of our houses done because our friends are coming in town and uh, I don't want to have to work tomorrow. And then Friday we have one, maybe two houses to cut. And that's because our customer, his daughter graduated high school and they're having their graduation party on Saturday. So he asked if we could make sure it's cut. And number one, he's a friend. Number two, they were a really good customer. So we said we would do that. Uh, but here's my problem right now is I woke up this morning and I got in the shower. Are, are, are you guys like that? Let me know down in the comment section. When you get up in the morning, do you have to take a shower even if you're gonna go do a dirty job? Like let's say you're gonna go outside and cut your grass or you're gonna go work in your garden. Would you still take a shower as soon as you get up? Because me, I have to take a shower even though I know I'm about to go and work a really dirty, sweaty job. It's just how I wake up. But I looked in the mirror and I kind of like rubbed on my face and my head and I'm like, oh, I'm so scruffy. I can't take like the scruff anymore. So I decided to shave. Now, if you're a guy, you're gonna know that when you shave and then immediately start sweating, it burns. So now I'm not only dealing with the heat and the humidity and the sweat, but like down here, it is burning. I feel like I just put aftershave on. I am going to take a second and just check my ketones because I am feeling amazing. I did an impromptu 24 hour fast from yesterday. Wow, yeah, 5.6. My ketones are pretty high today. But what happened was in preparation for vacation, I just tried to get as much work done yesterday as I possibly could. And usually that would be a day when I would lean on keto chow or some sort of meal replacement so I could just keep going. But today and yesterday, I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna fast and do my work. And crazy, right? I feel amazing. So it's 1.30, 1.25, and uh, we're just finishing up. Anthony's finishing blowing off our last property for the day. I just finished spraying it. The grass was ridiculously long. So now Anthony wants to run up and get 
fireworks because for his birthday he loves to do fireworks and he got some special deal because of like COVID-19 like if you ordered it online uh, then you could get like some special deal and a bunch of stuff for free so we order online we have to go pick it up but he has to pick it up today so we're gonna go do that and hopefully we will get back in time for when our friends arrive I am so sorry about the wind noise but I wanted to show you guys what I like to pack for a date at the beach and also what I keep in my car on a regular basis that Joe loves to make fun of me about so first of all we've got four of us gonna be hanging out at the beach this week so I have the collapsible chairs which I love. They're at Walmart. They're under $13 and I can repurpose them for Anthony's 4th of July birthday party. I am a firm believer in the individual umbrella. These guys are less than five bucks at Walmart. They just clamp onto your personal chair. And I just love getting to control where the sun and shade is and not feel like everybody has to crowd together super close to get some shade if it gets very rainy or sunny. I've got Betsy, Old Faithful, my red wagon. It's a collapsible one and it has been with me for several years. It's kind of an investment. I think that it was a little under $100 to buy, but I have used this through all of kids ministry and it's just really, really great for carrying stuff. And I won't worry that I get it dirty or sandy or whatever because it cleans up very quickly. I like these bags that they sell at Walmart. I got them on clearance for under $3 and they're really a quilt, a personal like quilt. You just unzip the bag and then throw the quilt on the, on the sand and then you can zip it right back up. And then it has some nice pockets. And for under $3, I really think that everybody who is visiting Florida should have their own pocket fan. This one was, yeah, under $3. It's got a little clip for your bags and it comes with a battery. So I feel like that is a super great deal. Now I always pack an extra umbrella, a couple of hats, usually hats that, that Joe cannot stand. And I also like to have some ponchos on hand just because I don't know what our friends are bringing for themselves as far as rain gear goes and I don't want to take a chance that they get soaked if we get caught in the rain. Okay, next up is our disc golf backpack. I absolutely love disc golf. It's just a fun and easy thing to play. It doesn't cost a lot of money and a lot of local parks have a disc golf course. So I'm just packing that along in case we are wanting to do something. You don't want to spend a bunch of money, but you want to just have some fun, play a game. It's really, really fun. I have a comforter in the back because even though I'm going to have towels, it's always just good to have an extra comforter for your back seat. I always carry a comforter in my back seat, even when we're not going to the beach because my children are a little bit messy when they sit in the back seat of my car. So Chris and I decided to come fly drones. And by fly drones, we mean not fly drones. <laughs> well, I put one of my drones up in the tree. You probably won't be able to see it because you'll see that orange drone that's up there. My drone's above that. Then I had the brilliant idea of using my orange drone <laughs> to knock the other drone out of the tree. Turn and off as the crash we can avoidance. see, turned off the crash avoidance the orange drone got stuck up there too. Then Chris decided, hey, I'm gonna fly my drone. I said, don't get your drone stuck in a tree. And he's like, 
I'm I just won't. trying to cut some of the he's like, smaller branches. I'm, I'm not going to get the drone stuck in a tree. I didn't say I wouldn't. I just so, if you look right below the orange drone, there's a gray drone. Yeah. That's Chris's drone. Three drones in a tree. So we have three <laughs> drones stuck in a tree. The thing is, there's three more drones that aren't <laughs> stuck in the tree. <laughs> so, I ran to Home Depot, and we've got 30 foot of PVC pipe, and we're going to try to knock these out of the tree. It's coming. Oh, oh, I loosened it. Here comes yours. Oh, they're both coming the same time. Oh, <laughs> oh, did we break a prop? No. Can't we break a prop? That's it. I've, it's hot because it's been on for like a half hour. We saved this one. We Save saved this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's still on. So I'm going to... Wow, I still have full battery. Nice. Okay, so now Is we that have, Anthony right there? We have Anthony's here. Okay. So, wait, we got one more to get. Yeah, I'm going to turn more. this off and let it cool down. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, there's one more up there. It is in there. Good. Yeah, it's really in there. Good. Oh, you almost had it. Oh, oh. it moved. Oh. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> we got it. So, Anthony came to the rescue. Yeah, I did. We got two of them out on our own, and then Anthony climbed the tree used a 10-foot pole and hit it out. Now we have to get Anthony out of the tree. Okay, let's see. Can it spin around? Yeah. Alright, I might just... You know, when Anthony was a little kid, his nickname was Monkey. Oh, oh. I got it. Okay. Thanks for spending your date rescuing our drones. So, they always say that you should make memories when you're on vacation. This is memorable. I think we have a good memory. <laughs> This is better than sliding backwards down a mountain pulling a trailer. Let's let's go fly some more drones. Okay, let's do it. Chris is trying the the DJI FPV drone. That was good. It was great. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, was. we learned how to get a drone out of a tree yep. at a park. Three drones out of a tree. <laughs> we learned that Anthony can climb a tree and then use a ten foot piece of PVC pipe. Yes, to, like get that, that was out. that was fantastic. You got to meet Sarah on a really unusual way, and it, it was great. <laughs> I got to see her. She got. I was there while her boy was doing awesome stuff, helping out her dad, <laughs> helping out his dad. Now, overall, it was a lot of fun. Now I got to go home and fix my drones. And you're not going to be able to think about anything else until... Well, first thing we have to do is go get the girls, and uh, we're going to... Churrasqueria. Texas Day Brazil. That's right. It is about to get weird here at Texas Day Brazil. I am trying to see how much can I consume. So Chris, because we're out with Chris and Miriam over there, has said that he can eat more oh, than Rachel. Okay. What do you think? I think that um, challenge accepted, and I think that I will be driving him back to his hotel sat and I'll be like, hey, what are we going to eat now? They're still battling it out. Oh, I lost my drink. <laughs> it's back. I don't know. I, I don't know. Rachel's kind of slowing down. Chris's plate's kind of getting empty. You still got food left. I've got to start being choosy. I can't slow myself down with chicken now. I have to stick to the beef. I cannot believe this is happening. I've got to push stop. I gotta push pause. I'm gonna like get my thoughts together, get my feelings together, make a second stomach, and I'm gonna go back. It's it's coming back, but I gotta pause. So this is just a pause. It's just a pause. So so Chris can't declare being the winner. He has not paused yet though, so he is in a very steady lead. He's, he's lapping me right now on the race course. So I burped and made some more room for this delicious beef rib. Look at this. We're back in it. Have we decided who won? Because Chris turned over his thing. Yeah, but I was eating more. He was eating more though. Technically, Chris won. Because there has to be an end time to the race. It can't go on for years and years, <laughs> right? Like it has to be in a set amount of time. I think we all won. Yes, yes. I think Texas Day Brazil is the loser because they're probably out of stock of everything and we'll need to close early tonight. Oh, tell him about our waiter. Did he say he was doing keto? Yes, our waiter is actually keto too. So he was like, well, I'm not going to bother bringing the bread, the rice, any of that. You don't want that. The bananas. You're not, I'm not going to waste any of that, right? That was so good. We have never been to Why Texas Day Brazil. Why are we not eating here on the regular? What took us so long? And I mean, they used to have like coupons all the time. I know like we tried to sign up for 
remember the thing where you get $20 off, but we signed up and then it gave me a thing saying you have to wait 48 hours for your It'll coupon. be for our next trip. <laughs> Guaranteed, but that was a great talk about a great keto option for an anniversary, a birthday. I mean, certainly it is pricey, but I was talking to Chris from Keto Chow, and I think we both came to the consensus that if you are going to a buy the pound barbecue joint, oh, that was much cheaper. I definitely think we actually saved money, and you were able to try a lot of different meats because. I'm not somebody that eats lamb all the time. There were certain sausages that maybe I would not have tried if I was paying by the pound. Well, I think about the last time we went to a barbecue, we went to Hardy in Dallas and we spent like $70 for, I think we had a, like a half a pound to a pound of meat a piece. That was it. Yeah. Now this is a little expensive. If you come in the afternoon for lunch, it's like $33 or something per like person. that. Whereas it's like 45 for dinner. So it is a little expensive, but... but I think you ate a lot more than a pound of meat. I know oh. I ate a lot more than a pound of meat. All right, let's be honest, okay? I, I yeah. ate way more than a pound of meat. And so, let's say $100 for the bill. Yep. I definitely think we got way more than we would have at a barbecue joint, for sure. Question of the day. Who won? Chris won. Chris won. I feel like if I could have had more time, I would have you know, gotten back into the swing of things. So we found somebody that could out eat Rachel. I'm so proud. Like that's when you know you've made a good friend. You've made a friend for life. Somebody who gets you. Chris's stomach gets my stomach. Well, I don't know what time it is, but it's raining now. So we've had great weather because Chris and I flew drones all day. We put them in the tree, but we did fly drones. Is it technically flying? Well, they crashed drones all day. We crashed drones all day. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back to the house. We're going to work on preschool. And then tomorrow, we're going on an airboat ride with Chris and Miriam. Let's go find some alligators. Well, we're headed out to have a little adventure with Chris and Miriam. We thought to ourselves, what is the most touristy thing that you could do in South Florida? An airboat ride. And it's definitely an airboat ride. So we are headed out to the Everglades to jump in a giant metal boat and pray that it doesn't rain and lightning because we're gonna be in a giant metal boat and find some alligators. Here we go. We had our temperature taken. We are well, thank you, Lord. I don't even know if she was actually like looking at it. I was like, dude. She's just like, dude, never even looked at it.
Hey, how's it going? Do you like the humidity <laughs> of Florida? Moist. It's are amazing. You, are you, is everyone moist? moist. <laughs> oh, I'm super moist. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. Sorry, Caleb. Sorry, John. We said... We said yeah, people know, say you... hot. Like, no, it, the humidity is the issue here. Oh, yeah. So now we get to see a baby alligator. You cannot have one. I do have a baby alligator-sized purse with me. Just, you know, coincidentally. It would eat the baby chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna go to Texas Roadhouse with Chris and Miriam for like lunch slash dinner. Birthday lunch. Birthday lunch, right? And we're pulling in and there's this giant line. Giant. Like like there's gotta be 75 to 100 cars on this line. Like it's wrapping right. around the entire parking lot. And we're like, what is going on? Like is there a long line to get to the back of this like mall parking lot? It's Chick-fil-A. It's Jesus chicken. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, hey, I like Chick-fil-A before keto. I mean, I really wouldn't eat there now because, let's face it, the chicken sandwich was the best thing. Right. And taking the breading off kind of takes away I mean, from Chick-fil-A. They have a grilled one, but I don't think it's as good. It's not as good. And the chicken nuggets were awesome, but if you take My off the breading... never like that because they were too tiny. They're too tiny. What is possibly in that chicken that would make somebody wait on at least an hour at line? Least. Maybe they're having a ride. We don't, don't know, know about. They're giving money. It's definitely not worth it for me. Look at this food. Rachel's in her happy place. Two days in a row. Meat candy. Mm. Smothered prime ribs. But this is loaded broccoli. Chris's concoction, but we're missing the sour cream. We're still waiting for the sour cream. Sour cream and butter. But it's the perfect thing, loaded broccoli. Why did we never think of this? <laughs> so this is the view from Chris and Miriam's hotel room. What floor are we on? The ninth floor? Ninth. Ninth floor. Is that the most gorgeous view? One of the advantages of COVID is there's not a lot of people on the beach. Look at the person with the... Um, Parasailing. Gorgeous. You know what's even prettier than that? Having ice cream. Ice cream after prime rib is even more beautiful than this beach. I'm sad today, actually. Why? Because Chris and Miriam have to go home because their stinking kids <laughs> will not let them just live here with us. Yeah, but they showed up. Hi! Yay! <laughs> Chris and Miriam stopped to say goodbye. We saw them last night. They were That's leaving, right. and then they called us this morning, and they're like, hey! One more hug. One more hug. <laughs> They drove 30 minutes out of their way to come say How goodbye. Precious. Yeah, it's 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 less than what 10 hours on the airplane, so yeah. why not stop by before oh we goodness. leave? So there you go. So I'm getting the rope and then they're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so excited to get to spend Chris's birthday week and together. And Father's Day. And Father's and Day. Father's Happy, Father's Happy Father's Day, Thank Joe. You. <laughs> Although we did find out that actually they're all younger than us, like much younger than us. Well, that's right. Really. I'm younger than you. <laughs> yes. That's Only just, by a few a months. I, Chris <laughs> has fit so much more wisdom into his lifetime, and I've spent all of my time trying to memorize like all of the lyrics to Sir Mix-a-Lot's Baby Got Back. Like, uh, I, feel, I got that too. <laughs> I feel like you, that you've spent more time getting good information in. It's just different information. I'm gonna spend the new, it's, next it's morning. It's useless information. Oh, yeah. is what you I, can tell, I can give you all sorts of facts. I love that though. <laughs> right? Well, since we had to close the vlog anyway, why don't you close it out? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to start me out. We'll let them close you out. Oh, okay. What are we closing out? How do we close? Well, that's our vlog. Oh, okay. Well, that's our vlog for today. Do us a favor and hit the like button bucket. Hit the light bucket. Kick the light bucket down below. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to Or Chris and Miriam come visit. Yes! That's true. Until next time, bye! bye.